Yes, STS-80 was a very, very strange space shuttle mission. What we see is uh, a lot of activity. It can't all be put down to natural phenomena. Um, James Oberg at NASA and all the other pundits at NASA would uh, love you to believe that these are all ice crystals and space junk and debris. Quite frankly, if there was that amount of debris, that sheer number of uh, shooting stars uh, flying around in close proximity to the space shuttle and the Mir space station, it would be not safe to, to put craft up into space. A piece of rock just a few millimetres across uh, travelling in the opposite direction of the space shuttle uh, would rip through the entire structure of the space shuttle and cause a fatal accident. Well, people always say to me, you know, if there's extraterrestrials and if there's UFOs, why don't they make themselves known to us publicly? Well, I think with the space shuttle mission STS-80, that's exactly what they did do. You see um, objects which are out of focus or they are uh, transparent in some kind of way. And the first one comes from behind the space shuttle, comes into the field of view and they make their way to the upper atmosphere. That's at least what it looks like. Um, it's joined by many others, and you get a kind of rough circular formation appearing. And then you get the piece de resistance, uh, the last uh, orb comes into the center of this formation, and as soon as it finds its position, it lights up. And then you can see a sort of dance of lights around this formation. Now, this suggests to me incredible intelligence. It suggests to me that they are saying, look at us, look how clever we are. And it's a astounding piece of footage these extraterrestrial craft are attracted to thunderstorms and many many times we see lightning on the surface of the planet or in the atmosphere of planet earth and as soon as these electric storms start the ufos swarm into the area it's almost as if they're harvesting the electromagnetic energy within the atmosphere and in actual fact um, there are uh, unseen forces in the atmosphere um, etheric flows of what uh, the German scientist Wilhelm Reich described as orgone energy and it could it could be possible that these UFOs are sucking energy from these uh, electric thunderstorms on planet Earth and this is where they're getting their energy from you should concentrate on the first object that appears and you will see that it holds its position Many TV stations have actually broadcast this STS-80 footage, but they only show you the few seconds of the large glowing orb coming from the lower atmosphere.
the cameraman who's operating the space shuttle camera is fully aware that the first object has held its position and after the large orb has uh, ascended from the lower atmosphere um, and the shuttle is moving away from the scene the cameraman is actually zooming in at the end of the sequence to double check the position of the uh, first luminous orb and it's a fascinating piece of video. A few years ago there was an astounding book published, um, it's called The Day After Roswell and it's written by a gentleman called Philip Corso who is now dead. He had a military career that uh, lasted more than 20 years and during that time he served at the White House and then he was a senior official at the Pentagon. And in this book, which is an astounding book, he clearly says that there is a war going on in space. In other words, NASA and the American military have designed weapons. Uh, he says in his book that some of the weapons are based on patents of the genius inventor Nikola Tesla. Philip Corso tells us that there are plasma beam weapons being used against these UFOs and that sometimes these UFOs are hit. A special team then travel out to wherever it is in the world and collect the wreckage. Now from the wreckage they back engineer uh, any useful technology. In his book he clearly states that microchips, um, semiconductors, uh, fibre optics, lasers, many other uh, new metal alloys have all been back engineered from wreckage which they've collected from UFOs which have been shot down by the American government. I believe that what we're seeing with the footage from Space Shuttle Mission STS-48 that we are seeing several intelligently controlled extraterrestrial craft and yes I do believe that the flashes are the firing of some very very top secret weapon 
which is able to produce an electronic or electromagnetic plasma kind of death ray that is being used against these UFOs. I do believe that that is exactly what we're seeing. Space Shuttle Mission STS-75, the Tether incident. A lot, of, a, a lot has been said about this incident. Um, personally, I feel that most of the objects that you see are actual individual parts of the Tether uh, just floating around in space and that they're out of focus. It's a fascinating piece of footage and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if there weren't you know, quite a few UFOs coming into the scene to check out our technology, just as the same as they've done many times before. The crew can see the tether and uh, see the satellite, and it's beautiful. This view uh, showing uh, The satellite, again, uh, just moving into sunrise, 81 nautical miles now from Columbia. You clearly hear one of the astronauts uh, being told there's an object at your 11 o'clock position. It's about your uh, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock going away, don't worry about it. And the other astronaut, who's obviously uh, in the know, uh, says don't worry about it. Out there. I'm not sure what you're talking about. I suspect that the senior astronauts, uh, the astronauts who've been up more than just once, uh, are fully aware that there is uh, a very large number of unexplainable objects flying around. Never mind. <laughs> 